what we saw last match, bro. When Donny came into the pivot, yeah, he changed the game. Like, he completely changed the team in there. McTominay in there. I think, you know what it is with McTominay, yeah? Mm. Like, McTominay is shit, but you don't realise how shit he is until you put someone else in there instead of him. Mm. You know, like that. And that's when you really realise how shit he is because he's bad, but he covers up how shit he is by hiding. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying there. That's what I'm saying there. I know, I know. Yeah, a lot of people said he had a good game the other day, but I'll be honest, he was you, horrible. Man. You know, what I mean, I'm not gonna bro, lie. he was the only player that got taken off at half time, bro. The only one, yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. My thing is with McTominay, like, he doesn't do anything outstanding, everything he does is basic, he doesn't have any kind of clear, outstanding quality. And mm. I'll be honest with you, like, even in, even in that kind of so called holding role that you know you would have assumed that he would have been, but Fred's taking it, so Fred's mm. getting more of a responsibility. I don't know what his actual role is, to be honest with you, McTominay. But for me, like I said, I'd rather put Chris Eriksson in there and then we could have some more balance in there. We could potentially have more quality. You know what I'm saying? Like we know we're going to get quality in it. So, nah, McTominay... Frank, Frankie's going to play in... Yeah, Frankie's going to play in... Um, the Fred role, yeah, right now. In, nah, Fred, nah, Frankie's going to play in the McTominay role. Fred will yeah. play. Fred will but play. Saying, but Fred's playing there now in the Frank de Young role. Then they're just going to switch. And yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, you know you're saying? right. Fred is playing deeper than McTominay, but that's because yeah, the yeah. manager don't trust McTominay. That's what I'm saying. In that position to pick the ball off off the defenders, he doesn't trust him. He's letting Fred do it. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And Fred's that's not Fred's strengths either. So exactly, um, but it just shows yeah. you who could do the more basics in it. And Fred can play them balls in behind, in it. He's he's been trying it all tour. To be fair. You know what mm. I mean? And getting the ball further forward in between the lines, in it? So, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, it's, 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 it's clear, isn't it? I'm just not here to participate in any McTominay hive or whatever, you get me? I just think it's not good enough. And it's as simple as that, innit? And you'll get found out, innit? Because once we do get Frankie De Jong, you know what I mean? I, I don't see a place in the position for 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 McTominay. Even De Jong, when he came on, I told people about, with, with, with Donny van der Beek, yeah, he needs to yeah. play with the first team. And then you see the qualities, man. You're telling me, yeah, Frank is so good. You seen it, bro? The link up play, the intelligence. He's bro. so good, bro. You know what's annoying about Donny Van der Beek? Yeah, is that he's so good that if your football IQ is not of a certain level, you can't see how good he is because there you go, he yeah, does yeah. stuff without even touching the football, bro. Like mm. he does, he affects the game without even touching the ball. If you don't yeah. understand what you're watching. You don't actually understand how good he is, bro. You don't yeah. understand. Like, he's one of those players that, like, you can't watch the game. You just have to watch him. Yeah, you just have to watch him. Simple. You just have to watch him. If you watch the game and you don't watch him, you'll feel like, oh, I haven't seen Donny for five minutes. What's he been right. doing? Donny's been right. dragging fuckers all over the place. Mm. That's what he does because his movement's crazy, bro. His yeah, movement, movement is, is crazy, so man. intelligent, bro. He drags people all over the place. He opens up little holes for people to pass into because he's mm. a nuisance, bro. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? And he no, just needs bro. the right kind of players to be playing the ball into him and he is going to feast, bro. Mm. But every time he got opportunity, though, I felt like he didn't play with the first team in it. Like, he, he was almost playing with the second string. You get me? Like, you know, like, a lot of people don't realise how much, you know, it is when you're playing with the first team in it. Like, you're playing with better players in it, more quality. Mm. When he was coming in, he was either having matter on the right hand side he was having Ilanga on the left. Bro, come on, man. Like, it's not going to work, in it. And as soon as he played with the first team, them first 20 minutes, bro, it was sensational football. Look at the goal, yeah. man. The drag back and that. That's just football intelligence to... to oh, to bro. Manual. And you know what it is with Donny, bro? It's like, you're yeah. in a position like this. Martial's already rounded the keeper. Most players would have got a rush of blood and tried to shoot. Yeah. Because you know the goal's open. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So naturally, a lot of players would have got the rush of blood... And just thrashed at it. The guy's got his head up and just put a perfectly weighted pass across the goal, bro. Like a lot of players get excited in those positions, yeah. bro. A lot of they players. Get excited, you, know? you get me? So yeah, he's brilliant, man. Do you nah, know what I mean? He's so I'm good, excited, bro. Man. I'm excited about Donny, but I just feel like for me, like I said, he needs to he needs to game time with the first team in it. He needs to be. Yeah. I think I think with Ten Hag though, what you're gonna see is more rotation in it. He's not gonna be yeah, like a yeah. body. Where he just sticks the first eleven throughout the whole season. No, he'll, you know what he'll do against certain teams. He'll play yeah. certain combinations. I believe. Of course, do you know what man. I mean? He'll play oh. certain combinations against low blocks. Where yeah. we're playing against teams where we're gonna have a lot of the ball. I think he'll play a certain combination against yeah. teams where he feels like we're gonna be pressed 
and we need to move the ball a certain way, I think he'll adapt to that. Do you know what I'm yep. saying? I think he'll do that. Against teams like Liverpool, mm -hmm. where the teams are going to be more aggressive and stuff, I think you need more technically secure players. <laughs> Against the lower teams, you can get away with playing the likes mm -hmm. of Bruno. That's resistant. You know what I'm that, saying? Yeah. yeah, you can get away play. with it. But yeah. against teams like Liverpool, you can't get away with Bro. playing Bruno Fernandes. You get fucking ran over. That's what I'm saying, man. And although Bruno Fernandes is, is, is adjusted his game now under Ten Hag, I, I feel like right now he's trying to do it. Obviously, we're in that honeymoon period, isn't it? When when the season mm. kicks off, you'll start to see the old Bruno Fernandes. We'll see it. The time will tell in it. Like, we'll, we'll find out. But right now, I can tell Bruno Fernandes just being very hasty and he's just kind of like being, you know what? Let me just simplify my game right now. And it's working for him. Don't get me wrong. It's working for him. But I think you'll, you'll, you'll but find But you can still see his limitations, bro. You can still see it, though. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? When he receives the ball, the ball under his feet, you can still see it the way he receives the ball. You can still see he's not comfortable, bro. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Nah, we'll see, man. But again, you know what I mean? We, we've got we've got players now in there. Like I said, you know what I mean? We've either got Iqbal in there who could play that role as well. So mm. I still think for me, there's options, man, for Ten Hag. And you know what? His system's key anyway, man. I think the personnel will work itself out. You know what I mean? And he'll know the best team possible. But mm. I think system and knowing that these players are comfortable playing the one touch. And it'll just be a case of, you know what? Survival of the fittest, isn't it? Like, who can play? Mm. You can see Tanak shouting at Charlie Savage. Yo, what are you doing? And that. A lot of people thought it was David again. No, I thought, are you sure? Because yeah, 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 I saw yeah, the video. Cool. And when De Gea kicked it, like, man said, man said, like, what the fuck are you doing? I'm nah, sure it was, was De Gea because he um, hoofed it away. Why was he shouting video, at Charlie? It's slow -mo. There's another video of slow-mo and you can hear it says Charlie. It was actually Charlie. Oh, but, I think but Charlie. Why was it Charlie? Apparently, it was to do with something about receiving the ball or something like that. Because you got to think here, yeah? Tenag's thinking about the next move, the next move on top of that. So that people. But, but what did people Char what did Charlie do? Was his position not been, good or what? He was shouting at. Apparently, he was shouting at Charlie and Ahmad at the same time. So after that video goes, he then shouts at okay. Ahmad Diallo for not picking up a position. We've got a new yeah. manager, man. Because he's thinking about the next move. He should be in this Yeah, of position. course, because he's like, yo, I've told you, man, when we get the ball, this is yeah, where you should go. fucking be. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? So position. I like that he's shouting at Charlie like that because yeah. that's how you have to shout at them young Gs. That's how they learn. Bro, facts, you know what I'm man. saying? You can't take it easy on them because they're, bro, how they learn by that, bro? There you Do you go. know what I mean? But De Gea hoofed the ball and gave it away, though. No, no, so I don't know. I thought he was shouting at De Gea because that was a yeah, shit yeah, kick. Yeah, yeah, But then again, you know what I'm if, because De Gea is doing well so far in the preseason, Maybe they he fucked it for the goal, bro. It was his fault. Yeah, the goal. Yeah, no, no, no. The goal. Yeah, hundred percent. He did a mad, mad error. That's a that's what you call unforced error. Yeah. But my thing is, yeah, when De Gea has got that ball now, this is where Ten Hag's working on. Though he's working yeah. on who's in the best available position to receive the ball. Are you in your right position, bro? That's mm. why we're now going to survival of fitness now. If you're not in the right position to receive the ball, Ten Hag's gonna be like, "What, what are you doing? You just can't be bystanding. You can't be standing mm. around doing nothing." You gotta be able to know where where that ball's gonna drop. You're gonna to have to be known to be in an advanced position. So then, when we break and when we win that first ball, right? Who's gonna be in that second position now to break on that team? I like it, man. The fact that for me it was Charlie Savage. I'm for me, I'm happy because then at least I know he's thinking about the next move. If it was David De everybody knows he would have been like, you know, distribution's poor. Mm. It's gonna be dropped soon. But when he actually 100%. listened to the video, when I heard Charlie, I was like, oh. So then he didn't really pick up his position. Is that what it is? So, bro, man, I'm just I'm gas with we've got a we've got a manager who can coach in it, like that mm. knows about second and third phase of playing it, and that knows that you know what in, in yeah, he's different, bro. Like everything is structured, and that's why I said, yeah, these yeah. guys will hang themselves under this manager. Bro, these guys will hang themselves, bro, because you know what's beautiful about what this manager's doing, yeah. Like, yeah. um, it's exposing the deficiencies in all the players. And it's funny because all the players that I rated are looking good under the manager. Right. Just so happens that I might just know something about football. I might just. <laughs> do you know what I mean? I might just. 